And that's it tonight. Good night. From the newsroom of TVS, the late news for the South. Good evening. The QE2 sailed out of Southampton tonight, despite attempts by striking seamen to keep her in port. NUS members arrived at Southampton early in the day to try to persuade 80 crewmen on the ship to join their strike. But the men eventually voted by a huge majority to work as normal. The QE2 sailed on time with her 1,600 passengers. The NUS crewmen aboard said they'd reconsider their decision when they returned to Southampton next Wednesday. But for some of the strikers, that wasn't nearly good enough. And I'm up from Dover, and I stood there near 14 weeks, and I feel sick. I feel sick for everybody else that's standing here, for everybody else that's put their job on the line for us blokes. And the seamen's dispute is continuing to cause severe disruption to ferry services at Portsmouth and Weymouth. With Sealink crews joining their striking P&O colleagues, the only company operating to France are Brittany Ferries, who go to Saint-Malo and Caen. From tomorrow night, though, a service to the Channel Islands will resume. At Weymouth, the only service running is the Hydrofoil to the Channel Islands. But along the Dorset coast at Poole, freight services to Cherbourg resume today when French crews working for truckline ferries resolved their dispute over holiday pay. A builder who abducted a schoolgirl and then raped her at gunpoint was jailed for 10 years at Reading today. 24-year-old Mark Ford from Maidenhead dragged the 13-year-old into his car as she was walking to a disco. The visit by Russian scientists to one of Britain's most secret research bases in Wiltshire will take place at the end of this month. The Russians will be shown around Porton Down, where research into chemical weapons and germ warfare is carried out. British scientists will make a similar trip to Russia in July. The visits are designed to improve relations between the two countries, whilst disarmament talks are going on in Geneva, and they're aimed at securing a global ban on chemical weapons. A sales manager who killed a cyclist while being twice over the drink drive limit in his new company car was jailed for 12 months today. Carl Purcell Pereira from Ringwood was found guilty of reckless driving by a jury at Winchester. He was also banned for four years. The Olympic gold medalist, Steve Ovette, swapped his spikes for cycling shoes today when he joined part-time fireman David Monk for the finish of a marathon cycle ride. David decided to visit all 52 fire stations in east and west Sussex, and he covered 350 miles during the six-day ride. The final leg today was the journey to Seaford Fire Station, where David is based. At the finish, he was a tired but happy man. Ready for a bath and a good night's sleep. A mother and daughter from Berkshire went into the history books today as they raised thousands of pounds for charity. 60-year-old Evangeline Hunter-Jones was fixed to the wings of a tiger moth for a hair-raising flight from White Waltham Airfield near Maidenhead. Her daughter Georgina was at the controls as they became the first all-female wing-walking team. Their efforts raised 15,000 pounds. And so to the weather forecast. The night will be fine, but a few fog patches will develop before dawn. There'll be a little ground frost as temperatures fall to 5 degrees Celsius. Any fog will clear quickly. Tomorrow, dry, sunny and warm with temperatures up to 17 degrees Celsius. That's it for now. We'll be back in one hour's time with a special programme looking at today's local district council election results. It's called The South Decides. It's at 11.30. Join us. That was, in fact, meant to be a rugby football. I suppose it could be described as a UFO, but in fact, there is no UFO tonight. We have rugby football on Late Night Late, followed by a man who some people still don't recognise. Please, this is Casey Kasem. If you've never seen him before, then watch Late Night Late tonight.
the truth is out. There are two new Saabs. Air superiority and a superior luxury car. The new Saab 9000 CD. All right, Yvette, I'll be off then. Okay, Peter, bye-bye. To the lab. Sign here, mate. Delivery. What? Oh, nothing. Where do you want it? Nothing. Oh, for the butter. We really do put nothing in butter, unless you like it salted. There's no colouring, no preservatives, no e numbers, nothing. Which is why nothing has the real taste of butter. That was quick. Nothing to it, Squire. of the unexpected, and David Suchet finds himself in a potentially explosive situation. I've just confirmed I'm pregnant. You did promise me you were making, well, divorce arrangements with your wife. I said, get it tested, Sherry. A gas leak can be a killer. Divorce isn't the only solution in Tales of the Unexpected, Friday, 9.30, on TBS. You're watching TVS. Next tonight, our late-night Australian drama, Prisoner Cell Block H. Isn't it possible that the two of you...